guys are not having a good morning. Yep, see? Pissed off. These are the guys anchoring the boat. Morning, Skagway. <laughs> we just pulled in port. Uh, they anchored us to the dock down below. The guy was kind of mad this morning. He was, uh, I heard some cussing <laughs> while getting ready. <laughs> he was pretty mad. <laughs> and the guy on the deck was like, why are you so mad? Um, anyway, we have a Chilkoot trail hike and river float this morning. So that's why we have to get up early. And we have quite a bit of time uh, in port, which is which is nice. We won't feel so rushed like like last night. Oh, we're walking through shipping containers. Because last year they had a rock slide? Yes, what they used to have. Yeah. Oh, well, for our protection. So, so something came down. So they said you can't bring Starbucks off the ship or water. Or food. Or food. Somehow they let me bring my water in. I just chucked mine. <laughs> yeah, Chelsea chucked hers in the garbage. And they said it was okay. So, I don't know. I guess, I guess wait till the last minute. If they let you, they let you. Or are you looking for Alaska Mountain Guides? Or that green stuff will get you, well, this one here will get you off the dock. Okay. You're looking for Alaska Mountain Guides. Hey, that looks like Jimmy Duresta. They wear blue jackets. All right, thank you. Chelsea said they won't let you walk off the pier, so we have to take the shuttle all the way down. There's all these rocks at the end. The city does have a shuttle available for a small fee that is good all day. Chariot Soapy. Skagway is derived from the indigenous word meaning a place where the north wind blows. Today was a long day. We arrived at 7 a.m. and did not leave port until 8.15 p.m. We were excited that we had so much time at port. We booked the Chilkoot hike and river float excursion early through NCL as there were only 10 spots available. Once we met up with our guide, we drove through Skagway up to a viewing area that overlooked the city. The sun was just starting to come up over the mountains. All right, so we just drove through Skagway right there. When returning to the van, there was a box about 10 feet away. Got, Got something. doesn't want us to have it. No sharing. Once we arrived at the river, we went over safety calls and suited up with life jackets and rain boots. We rafted over to the other side of the river to start our hike on the Chilkoot Trail. During the walk, we learned a lot about the native vegetation and history of the trail. The Chilkoot Passage was a rough and rugged 33-mile trail used during the Klondike Gold Rush to connect the Pacific coast of Alaska to the interior of Canada. Due to high mortality, Canada required each individual to have a year's worth of rations before entering. The hike was about 45 minutes, but was cut short due to flooding that took out a bridge. After the hike, we got back in the raft and floated down the Dye River. It was peaceful and relaxing, except for the one time we got stuck in a shallow spot, where we had to bounce our bodies to help release the raft. Along the way, our guide gave more information about the culture of the region. Oh, is that an eagle? Nice. Being going to that nest. Wow. You playing that too? <laughs> After rafting, we headed back to Skagway. Along the way, we stopped at another overlook, but this time it was Naku Bay. The bay contains a sunken ship called the Canada that can be visible when water levels are low. 
1898, the ship was damaged in a storm which led to drama over salvage rights. Skagway was extremely busy when we returned as there were four cruise ships in port that day. When we travel, we like to try local food and drinks. We end up choosing the Bonanza Bar and Grill for lunch, as this was recommended by our guide. We both decided on halibut fish and chips and spruce tip beer. It was delicious. We were not disappointed. After lunch, we explored the local shops and had dessert. We heard the Klondike Doughboy was a must try and they were correct. The views of the mountains that surrounded the small city were beautiful. Falls oh, looks fake. Near the train station, there are museums, statues, and displays if you want to learn more about Skagway. Since it was nice out, we decided to walk back to the ship through a nice park. As it turned out to be a beautiful day, people were swimming and sunbathing on the ship. We were very fortunate as there was a humpback whale feeding near the ship when we returned. We ended up sitting on her balcony watching the whale. We ended the night by going to dinner at Ocean Blue. If you like seafood, we recommend trying this restaurant. If you go, be aware that pants are required, no shorts. Stay tuned as the next day of the cruise is Glacier Bay.